Hello everyone, my name is Shorya Gupta. In most of the college placements, it is said that it is good if you maintain your CGPA above 8.5 because then you will be able to sit for most of the good companies that come on the campus. So in this video, I'll discuss how you can maintain a good CGPA. Firstly, do not try to cram the syllabus at the night before the test. So it is always better to start early. Try to read ahead of your teacher. If not ahead, at least try to be on the pace with what's going on in the class. You can watch YouTube videos or refer to the books for the same. Because starting early will give you enough time to revise the complete syllabus. As we know, the end semester exams are of more weightage as compared to the internal or the semester exams which are held during the semester. So this is your chance to get some good grades in your bag. Focus on important topics and prepare them thoroughly. Make notes if you feel that it is required. And it is very important to answer your questions according to the marks assigned to it. Often students fill up long pages of ans uh, answers for a less mark question. Play it smart. Have a look at the marks assigned to the question and that you are going to attempt. Answer accordingly. If it is a question of one or two marks, answer to the point. And if it's a five or a six marker, then elaborate your answer as much as you can. While preparing the initial syllabus of the semester, you might swing between what to study and what not to study. So here's the trick. Have a look at the question paper of your first semester or the test and see what topics have been asked. Now prepare on those topics which were left unasked. This will help you in trimming the bulky syllabus that you have to cover. And guys, believe it or not, your fate is in the hands of your teacher. So there is a prominent part of your total result which lies in, the, in their hands. How much you get in your internals is the design, a deciding factor of your CGPA. Internals consist of teacher's assessment, your attendance, projects or the assignments that may have been given to you. So just be nice to your teacher, submit your assignments on time and attend your lectures. And lastly, no matter how much and how well you study, revision is very important. So take out some time at the last and try going through what you have studied because it's never a bad idea to revise. So do not forget to revise at the end. 